Hi, my name is Nate McCullough on behalf of ExpertVillage.com. In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper way to clean a new rotor and install it on the vehicle's hub. These rotors are built years and years before they're used. So to prevent them corroding on the shelf, they come with an oil on them. You can see as I smear the oil with my fingers, you may be able to see it around this area or around this area. You can see droplets. This is packing oil. It's put on there, like I said, to keep it from corroding. You need to use some kind of solvent, either a brake clean or a carb cleaner, and spray this surface of the rotor down and get that oil off there. That oil will contaminate your brake pads and cause the coefficient of friction to be less than what it's designed to be. It'll also generate some pretty foul smoke and odor. You'll notice if you don't clean this off, there will be smoke rolling out of the vehicle after the first couple times you stop on a new rotor. You can use either brake clean or carb clean. They have exactly the same ingredients. For my dollars, I use carburetor cleaner. It's about a buck cheaper than brake clean, and like I said, they're made of identically the same components. Let's pop our top off here. Spray the surfaces down, like so. We're going to aim for the back. Spray the surface down like so. You're going to want to try and shoot in to the cooling fins a little bit, because they're going to be oil soaked as well. You can see that oil turning red and coming off of there. The idea is to get the majority of the oil off. You're not going to be able to get all of it from outside the cooling fins, or inside the cooling fins for that matter. You're going to take and dry it off good. It may take a second to dry. You just set it out in ambient air. It'll dry while you're performing any other service on the vehicle. That spray is rather volatile and will dry pretty quick. Go ahead and make sure you got no fuzzies on it. Once you've wiped it down, it's okay to go ahead and line it up on the vehicle's wheel studs and slide it into place. That's the proper way to clean and reinstall your new braking rotor.